Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. So, I know what I want to do today. Oh yeah, I got my little purple shirt on today. Purple and black shirt. I'm going to get my little hair braided and I'll put shaped a little bit. Uh, so I won't look so crazy. Um, I took a little um, tour of downtown Sacramento. Um, not so much of a tour, this. Well, yeah, a little mini tour of the bridge and the Capitol in my first vlog video. I'm actually going to go to Old Sac today and just kind of do the same thing, so to speak. Um, I'm going to take a couple of pictures, I'll videotape the whole thing. So, um, so you know what's available out here if you were to visit Sacramento because it's a nice place. It is somebody needs to bring it out a little bit more because we're, some, we're you know, the Bay Area is about an hour and a half away. And not to mention LA is like six and a half hours drive. So Sacramento is kind of overlooked sometimes. So yeah. How are we going to go to Old Sack and take a little tour of that? So. Man, it's just a nice day out. You know, sometimes when you get stressed out or under pressure, you have to remind yourself that you have to get outside and just breathe. Like, ah, uh, you know, because being sometimes, uh, being in confined spaces, can cause stress by itself and it can cause you to go a little crazy so always remember to get outside and enjoy life always because you're not guaranteed tomorrow seriously so yeah they got the ice skating ring set up I guess they usually don't uh, they didn't do this in Sacramento a few years ago as I, as I am told but it's kind of weird looking at an ice rink and it's like 50 degrees outside because I'm so used to being in the cold and snow and all that good stuff. So it's kind of weird looking at it, but it's nice to have. I got detoured because of the stadium, but it's okay. But look. It really is looking nice. It really is. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I'm real happy of the progress Sacramento is making. We are officially entering Old Sack, finally. It took me about 20 minutes. It's weird because it's not it's not very pedestrian friendly as far as walking to it. If you're in a car, you can get here quick, but as far as walking, it does take a little bit to get here, but finally here. Everywhere in Old Sack kind of has this kind of like planted sidewalk. Like, it's nice because it's real light. They really reserved it nice. And as you can see, this is one of the buildings. One of them. And I'm actually going to walk down that way. Alright, you know, you guys know how I like donuts. One of, the, one of the best donut spots in Sacramento. You guys need to check it out. If you ever visit Old Sac in Sacramento, Check this place out. Very, very good. All right, so as people tell me, before there was actually Sacramento, there was this old sack, and this is like their downtown, so to speak. That's what I'm told. But you never know what people nowadays, they just run their mouth just to run their mouth. Yeah, but you see how the buildings are all antique. You know, they really preserved it. I really like it. And I'm actually going to go over here, it's like a little railroad, little museum kind of bit, sort of deal. I'm going to go down there next. And I'm going to go down this way. And that used to be like the Wells Fargo company, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I have to point this out, I have to point this out, so it's just nightclub slash sports bar slash whatever you want to call it called coconut grove and we're walking up to it now man this bar right here this little bar slash club slash sports bar whatever you want to call it be off the chain friday and saturday nights it'd be ridiculous like all this be packed up and this off the chain is crazy yeah so one of the main um one of the many i should say popular spots in Sacramento for people to go to Friday, Saturday night, hang out, drink, party, so forth. 
Uh, yeah, this whole, like this area be full of people. Like this whole area be full of people, literally. You people driving up the block and whatnot. This whole area. But yeah, Coconut Grove, good spot if you're in Sacramento, Friday, Saturday nights, I love it. Feel like I'm in a wild, wild west. <laughs> yep, yep. And this right here, the Central Pacific Railroad. Um, I'm not too familiar with the history of it, but I do believe this was where uh, passengers used to come to get dropped off in Sacramento, or I should say, Old Sac back in the day. So yeah. And it's one of the things they preserve too as well. And as you can see, there's like a little railroad right here, I guess from back in the day. Yeah. So I really do ha like how they um, preserve old Sacramento because they literally got it to the point where you can like feel like you was in a time machine and you went back into time. <laughs> So yeah, it's cool. It's a nice place if you got kids, if you got younger nieces and nephews and stuff like that, it's a nice place to go. It can be quite expensive, but it's a nice outing for the family. Polar Express entrance. So I guess they're using the train that they use for um, just basic like uh, tourism and stuff like that. I guess they convert it into like a Polar Express kind of th kind of deal. So it's real nice for the kids and whatnot. So I guess this is this locomotive train or whatever. I hope I said that right. It's still operational, and I'm guess I'm assuming that they're using it for the Pony Express ride. our little mini tour of old Sacramento so yeah I'm hungry <laughs> I really am I really didn't eat much this morning so I'm gonna go get me something to eat and I hope you guys enjoyed the little video I put forward on YouTube and I hope you guys enjoy so because I am trying hard and it is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I've been kind of holding back because I've been nervous you know I don't give too much of a care what people think you know but for one I'm not really the person to be in front of a camera or take pictures or really photogenic or anything like that so it's real new to me you know and I'm evolving and <laughs> I just want to keep it going because I really feel good and I'm really starting to get comfortable with it now like I'm able to walk down the street and have a phone or a camera in my face now and not really care what people think so I really like that but yeah like I said before thanks for watching I hope you guys continue to support me on my journey and yeah